So I'm going to give a little bit of a demonstration on how the system is going here and sort of show you a little bit on how everything works. So this is the heart of the system here. It's a shield pump, just a water pump, uh, quite a good one. Um, this is a flow switch, I'll run through that in a second. So up here is the tank, storage tank, water storage tank. So currently the temperature in the tank don't have a wireless probe for this yet, but the temperature is currently 27 degrees. Tank. And if we have a look at all the other temperatures, so currently the greenhouse soil is 27.32, the compost is 30.23, it's actually cooling down, it needs changing, it was 40 degrees, obviously the system cools it down as it pumps cold, as the water goes through it, the greenhouse is 19.5, Outside is 14.95 and the solar water heater, because it's cloudy at the moment, is 29.46. So, it's quite late in the day, so it's um, quite cloudy. So anyway, so the way this works is, the first thing I've got on here for protection for the motor is a flow switch here. So, if there's a blockage in the pipe, um, the flow switch will turn the system off. So, as you can see at the moment, it's a bit hard to do this holding a camera, but I'll try. So, on my testers here, that's continuity. So, if I test between these two connectors on the flow switch here, give me a second, I'll put the camera down. Test between these two. Currently there won't be any noise, no continuity. So when I turn the motor on, which I'll do now, and, and water starts flowing, it will close the switch in the flow switch. So the pump's just gone on. And now there's continuity going through there as you can hear from the beep. So I'll put that back up. So the pump's currently flowing, so that there's just protection from a blockage, so I don't want the pump running dry if there's a blockage. On top of this, there's also two probes inside of the tank, level probes, so that when the water drops below the probes, the system will also turn off in case there's a leakage in the system. So that's that part of it. <coughs> so it all closes up like that. Both doors close. Okay. So this is the greenhouse at the moment. I'm working on putting another shelf down the back with a couple of shelves on top. Um, as you can see I've got morning glory growing here or water spinach, tropical plant. Uh, it wouldn't be growing outside, it would be dead, It'd be too cold for it. Got a couple of other things growing in here which I've been harvesting, a bit of lettuce, uh, Chinese cabbage, um, basil, more basil. It's literally too cold outside to grow any of uh, any of the basil or water spinach, um, bit of spring onion there. And I've got some more seedlings coming up on here. So yeah, anyway, so I'm going to be, here's the pipes. Um, obviously they're all insulated the whole way. So there's going to be a new bed in here. And this is the brain of the system up here, as I think of it. I suppose you can think of it. Um, 
So this is the switch for the pump, the pump I just showed you. So there's obviously a water level, uh, water level monitoring for, in case the water level gets too low, in case there's a leak. Obviously you've seen the flow switch which comes up here. Currently I've just got it shorted out for demonstration. Um, collection tank, that's for the rainwater tank. Obviously that's got monitoring probes in it. Um, 24 hour power, that's just for switches for everything. Um, you know, and obviously a light for the greenhouse. And a couple of other things I had to put in there to make the whole system work. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, that's just a quick look at how everything is going. Here's the wireless probe in the soil in the greenhouse. It's just a Charlie system. They work, seem to be working quite well. Um, oh, and here's a fan. Oh, I've got automatic greenhouse windows openers, which are working well. And obviously, so the greenhouse is inflated via this fan here, which is controllable also, as you can hear. So I'll just turn that into the lowest setting so it's not too noisy. Yeah, so as you can see, the inflation system adds a bit of R value to it. It stops the wind from flapping the plastic around and it keeps it a bit insulated. It tends to be about 5 to 6 degrees warmer in here say if it's zero degrees or minus one at night I've noticed it's about five degrees in here uh, it doesn't get below five degrees the soil I've never seen below 18 degrees on I think we had minus two the soil got down to about 18 degrees which is the lowest I've seen recorded um, yes yeah, so everything seems to be going good and this new bed here I'm gonna put extra pipes in it um, so I'm hoping just to release that they'll release more heat in this bed here thing is it's getting warm now it's spring so I'm probably gonna have to turn the system off in a few months and wait till winter but as I mentioned in some of the comments I'm gonna improve the system a bit by adding a second compost heap and cycling between both compost heaps because what I've noticed is the system just sucks the heat out of the compost so if I don't have any sun for a few days the compost just keeps cooling down um, so as soon as you turn the switch system off the compost starts to heat back up so if I turn the system off for 24 hours or so the compost will just continually heat up but the hottest I've managed to get the compost is 40 degrees um, because of this so I'm thinking if I can uh, what I'll do is I'll switch between compost heaps every 24 hours or so and that will allow one to heat up for 24 hours while the system flows through the second heat and then after 24 hours it'll alternate and go back to the hot heat slowly suck all the heat out for 24 hours while the cooler heat warms back up and vice versa so I'm hoping to have that well I will have that done by the start of end of end of autumn basically probably earlier so um, yeah I've still got a lot of other stuff to do so probably won't put any updates for a while but yeah I'll, I'll talk to you then